Welcome to this Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about Windows 8.1 versus Windows 10 and what is uh, the differences and what's to expect and you know is it better or not well we are still in the uh, technical previews so it's you know still a long way before we get Windows 10 which will be somewhere in September or October 2015. But for now we have to you know use what we know what we've been told and uh, what you know we're using right now which are the technical previews still you know unfinished software that is far from the final product so what is good in um, Windows 10 uh, is it better first of all start button coming back you know in Windows 8.1 they brought back a start button which basically only does one thing uh, go from start screen to desktop and so on or switch apps sometimes but nothing fancy in Windows uh, 10 they have actually done a real start button that has uh, both of uh, you know the best of both worlds which means that it will have programs and apps in the lists so it means that your uh, start menu will bring back of course your favorite uh, most used apps and programs and also the uh, apps that are installed or will be installed from Microsoft Store now first I get a lot of feedback is people saying well you know what I don't want apps that's not good for a PC um, I disagree because when people say I don't like apps they're only for touch devices they're not really thinking about what apps can do they only think of apps that are full screen and that you know are nice to swipe and so on actually apps are the future I mean the, um, even Mac uses an app store to get software now and this is the future because it's easier to install and understand how it works through an app store than it is by you know installing a piece of software and uh, so I think for that Windows 10 is nice because it actually has a very nice start menu uh, with the added bonus that the start menu can also be a full screen if you want which I think is a a good advantage to Windows 10 as for pricing what will advantage also Windows 10 is free upgrade so if you've got Windows 7 you've got Windows 8 8.1 you'll be able to upgrade that machine for free the first year so um, I expect pretty much all users of Windows 8 will go to Windows 10 throughout the year I don't expect that much Windows 7 but you know it's a nice incentive and I think that a lot of people from Windows 7 will really think about well okay should I go to Windows 10 um, Windows 10 as of now in preview 9926 that I'm using right now is actually quite nice and um, <coughs> very interesting an added bonus to uh, also Windows 10 that Windows 8 and 8.1 won't have is Cortana Cortana is the voice assistant it is your um, if we can say if you're using an iPhone Siri if you're using a uh, Android device from Google uh, it's the same as um, the uh, Google voice and uh, that is interesting because it also is an added bonus to Windows 8.1 which means that you can now give voice commands to your computer you can now ask vocally anything to your computer and it's going to show up Cortana learns from your experience and your computer usage so that is also something that's going to be quite nice because it means that your uh, Cortana will now know what you want if we can say so um, so that's going to be interesting it's going to be integrated everywhere including in um, Spartan which will be the new browser in Windows 10 and it's not just a voice assistant uh, so you, you don't have to you know talk to your computer all the time 
it's also an assistant that will help you in what you want to do. So when you're searching, when you are working in Word, when you are doing stuff on your computer, um, Cortana is going to learn how to help you and make things more productive for you. So that's also something interesting when we look at uh, Cortana being rolled on in Windows 10. What also is going to be interesting is the Spartan browser. Spartan is a code name for the new browser that will replace Internet Explorer 11. Uh, frankly, um, we're not really sure up to what extent it's better or not. But uh, in the coming weeks, actually, those uh, everyone that's using the technical preview right now will have a new build that apparently will have Spartan. Spartan promises to be um, more of a um, you know interesting browser, especially for reading on the web. It will let you uh, annotate uh, any pay web page, send it, share it with people. Uh, using finger, stylus, or keyboard, it will also Cortana will also be integrated into the browser, which means that uh, you know uh, this browser might actually be interesting. It will have all the latest standards on the web, which is also cool. So what will actually be interesting is to see if that browser. Uh, but you know, don't be scared if anyone wants to use Internet Explorer. It will be available for download actually, and you'll be able to install it in Windows 10 if you want to use. Internet Explorer instead of Spartan browser. Uh, another advantage to Windows 10, I think, is the fact that it will, and it already supports, but it's not activated right now, but uh, it will support what's called FIDO. FIDO is the Fast Identity Online Standard. So it means that users will be able to sign into commonly used apps like Outlook, for example, and um, that using a variety of biometric tools from fingerprint readers and um, retina scanners, also uh, two-time authentication will be available. Uh, so you know we already have two-time uh, authentication available, but this will be more advanced and uh, require um, you know some form of. Uh, way to sign in that removes passwords so it it could be the end of the password or beginning of the end of the password we're still far away from that but that could be interesting thanks to many um, upgrades the uh, other interesting thing is that in Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8 we had um, a lot of you know things that were different a lot of things were not you know the same apps weren't exactly the same apps and um, What's interesting here is that the um, apps will now share something interesting, which are called universal apps. And the uh, App Store will actually be what's called a unified App Store, meaning that the apps on Windows Phone, on uh, tablets, on PCs, will share a common base where you'll have the same apps available and universal apps will be the apps that are available for every devices which is also is something quite interesting um, you know in Windows 8 that's not very well implemented yet another thing that Windows 10 is interesting is in Windows 8 we have you know the impression that we have two worlds the one with apps and the one with desktop and it really really feels like having two operating systems in one in Windows 10 the uh, continuum which is called continuum um, will actually make things smoother so even if you're in a touch or a PC um, things are going to flow from one to the other easily instead of having the impression you're on two machines you'll have the impression of being simply on one machine that can run apps and also regular desktop or you know old school programs if you want so that's also interesting and actually in Windows 10 9926 preview we already have that available and um, it's called tablet mode tablet mode actually changes the way apps work. So here in tablet mode, 
you have the way to uh, extend you know that continuum and have it behave a little more like you want uh, and have full screen experience with the start menu for example which is very nice um, and also um, you know you don't have the impression of being in two machines so um, that's also something quite interesting multiple desktops will debut um, it's actually been introduced uh, it existed even as far as Windows 7 but now it will be really implemented which is um, multiple desktops which means you'll have available different desktops so for example you can customize a desktop for work and a desktop for game a desktop for um, you know another type of computer usage you might want music for example and so on so um, that's also interesting because you'll be able to have different desktops with different files and folders that go with the general idea of what you want to do with the machine which is pretty cool more flexible security updates also something that is interesting you know in Windows 8 if you don't want a security update you just have to stop getting updates uh, and turn off the update process in Windows 10 the security updates will have a way to go on the machine in a fast pace cycle or a uh, slower pace cycle which will be able you know you'll be able to actually turn that on or off and especially if you are um, a business you know sometimes these updates are scary and can break something what's cool with that is that you'll be able to opt in for a fast space cycle if you don't mind or you know just say well no I wanna take my time before I actually download anything improve multitasking because we will have you know frankly in Windows 8 the uh, famous snap snap app if you want if um, you have ever tried is almost impossible it's kinda difficult to figure out how to snap things together in Windows 8 in Windows 10 things become much more interesting because even the apps themselves will actually help you and ask you how you wanna snap do you wanna snap you know up to four apps in a quadrant or two apps or so on so it's going to be a much much better experience for that it's also going to use the alt tab shortcut to view the uh, different apps and cycle through the apps that you have which will be interesting and the last time we viewed we've used actually alt tab was in windows vista when we wanted that 3d view of the different programs that were running so that's going to be interesting also um, something interesting there will be no more typos and command prompt power users rejoice <laughs> as copy and paste will be enabled in Windows 10's command prompt so you'll be able to actually um, easily make a copy paste um, it is already available in some form but this will be a really full implementation um, an interesting thing will be the ability for IT administrators to actually access devices through the traditional methods like a Active Directory and System Center. But you'll be able in Windows 10 to actually include uh, extended built-in mobile device management, MDM capabilities. So you'll be able to manage stuff from the cloud, which is also something that's going to be interesting. And... Um, Stability, well, you know, until the Windows 10 official version is out, we're not really, we can't talk about that. One thing for sure is Windows 8, 8.1 were pretty rock solid. So in stability, Windows 8.1 and Windows 8 are extremely good. So Windows 10 will need to be as good, if not better, than Windows 8. Um, and that, you know, we need to look for. For now, the builds that we have are... A little buggy but you know that doesn't mean it doesn't it's not going to be okay at the end it's just that you know these are unfinished software and it's a little normal that they're buggy right now uh, speed 
Microsoft promises that Windows 10 will be as fast, if not faster, than Windows 8.1, even on older devices. Uh, you know what, on the build right now, what I can see is that it's very fast. But the thing is, I can't really uh, tell you that it's faster than Windows 8 or 8.1 for a simple reason. My Windows 8.1 install is two and a half years old and this Windows 10 built is brand new and doesn't have all the programs, all the apps, uh, you know, and I've not tweaked it like I did in Windows 8.1, so I can't really compare speeds. But we, um, you know, Windows 10 core is going to be smaller, apparently, than Windows 8.1 and run much smoother even on old devices. You know, already Windows 8 is not bad in speed because it is much smaller than Windows 7, actually. And it does display a much faster uh, usage than Windows 7. So um, for those that never tried Windows 8, uh, Windows 8 is much faster than Windows 7. That is uh, really no questions. And even on old devices, Windows 8 is amazing. And Windows 10 seems to promise that also to be quite fast. So that's going to be interesting and you know it's a little bit interesting to see that it's going to uh, you know go into an era of where powerful machines are not going to have to be that powerful to actually run windows 10. so um, you know these are the windows 10 versus windows 8 uh, positive points um, i don't really have any negative points in windows 10 compared to windows 8.1 um, but, you know, everybody, depending on their usage, will have these little comments. And, you know, we're not in the finished Windows 10 yet, so we don't really know exactly how it's going to be at the end when it comes out later this year. So these are the little comments of Windows 10 versus Windows 8.1. And I think uh, Windows 10, for now, is a winner operating system, and it's going to be quite interesting. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, maybe you have questions about Windows 10 coming up, let us know. We'll try to answer any questions. And uh, hopefully you like our videos um, and we'll go through the different videos that we've seen right now. It's always interesting to have your feedbacks. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.